All right, so after countless hours of looking through those film festivals, you finally found the one that may be the next big step for your film or your screenplay. But before you hit that submit button, there's one one very important thing that you need to look into before you do that and more in three, two, one. Mark. What's up guys, Jason Lore here with Jason Lore Photography and Films and welcome back to another episode of Jason's Guide to the Film Festival. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about the rules of the film festivals. Why are the rules important? Because it's gonna let you know if the festival that you're thinking about entering is the one for you and also for your project. Now, where you can find these rules are in the description of the film festival page in uh, Film Freeway. So usually, it'll start off with a brief history of the film festival and what they're all about. Next would be the awards that they give out to the winners and then and finally the rules of the film festival so now this is gonna let you know if you're submitting a short screenplay right what exactly to them is a short screenplay so it could be up to 20 pages or less 30 pages or less or even 40 pages or less so just because the title of the film festival say short film festival doesn't always mean that anything below a certain amount of number is considered short from what you perceive as a short screenplay so you have to look at the rules because every film festival is different as far as like their perspective or their um, requirements for what meets a short screenplay so again you want to check that out same thing falls for the for the films as well so a short um, film could actually be up to 40 minutes or less or 20 minutes or less but again it all comes down to the film festival that um, you're looking to enter to so another way of checking out the rules is in the category section so whatever category that you're looking to enter your film or your screenplay into you click on that and it will drop down and give you a rules for that category so uh, say a short screenplay you have to have uh, 30 pages or less screenplay in order to enter this category if you try to enter a uh, romance uh, script into a horror category it's gonna pass it through because you know it meets the page uh, page limit and you know it's gonna say it qualifies but the genre is not uh, what it was meant to be for so if you do that you're not going to get a refund from the festival because clearly the rule stated right there that this is a horror category and you entering a romance genre into that category it clearly comes back to you so it's not their fault basically you just didn't read the rules which is why it's important to read the rules now i know uh, rules can be a pain in the butt sometimes but it's just very important because it does let you know exactly what they're looking for and at the same time that lets you know who the audiences are because what do we look for in audience what their interests are and what they're looking for so take that on the positive side as in you know this is exactly what they're looking for and they're actually telling you that so there's no surprise there so it actually helps you too if you haven't started a project yet so for instance if you're looking to shoot a film right okay I want to enter this film festival and they're looking for say action adventure and now me being able to write pretty much almost about anything not to boast I can write an action adventure screenplay and just uh, meet the requirements that they need and just submit it to that festival and this is a really good training too because if you were to write for a company and they look for like very versatile writers who can write uh, pretty much almost any genres that's where you know this is a good practice as well okay so they want an action adventure they want a horror genre they want a comedy now this gives you an opportunity 
to get creative and create something. Now, again, uh, this is all according to the rules of the film festivals and every festival is different, so keep that in mind. All right, so that's it for this episode of Jason's Guide to the Film Festival. Hope you guys found it helpful. If you guys do have more questions on film festival rules, definitely leave them in the comments below. If you guys want to know more upcoming events or projects that I'm going to be involved in, you can check them out on my Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and my IMDb page. Uh, if you guys haven't done so too, definitely hit that subscribe button to my YouTube channel. That way you can get notifications of new videos coming out there. If you guys found this video helpful too, definitely leave a like. But until next time, this is Jason Lore with Jason Lore Photography and Films bring you art stories and entertainment.